Alrighty, everyone. We're here in Salem. I appreciate you coming here, Drew. I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Keep the excessive cheeriness under control, and we'll be fine. I don't know. Can you keep your extreme meanness under control? Hmm. No promises. Where were you, by the way? Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? Yes, I did. And that's it. A fire? Was anyone hurt? Happened in the middle of the night. No one was there, thankfully. The house wasn't completely destroyed, but the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're clear, this is my case. I know you're a detective and everything, but this is personal. It's family. Well, extended. And from my father's side. But whatever, that's not the point. It's personal. You take my lead, okay? Of course. But? Well, I have done this a couple of times, Deirdre. And in my experience, we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience and whatever. But family trumps experience. It's sensitive, and I don't want you messing it up by being too... Too what? Too you. You're a question machine. This requires gentle handling. Delicate. <laughs> and that's been your approach. Well, like I say, I need help. So, can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. <laughs> Deirdre says she needs help. She needs a lot of help. So, Deirdre, who are the various people involved with this mystery? Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P-A-R-R-Y. Oh, like in fencing. Yes. Tegan is the older one. May is younger. They've... They had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. So, what can you tell me about May? What can you tell me about May? She has a reputation as a troublemaker. It seems like a loner to me. Maybe a bit odd at times. Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff. Difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. That's the problem. Everyone is so suspicious of her. Prejudice, I guess. Because of... Well, you'll see. Sounds like we should talk to her soon. Where do you think we're going? I don't doubt that the Perrys had a very difficult time growing up because Deirdre was their babysitter. So, yeah, they had to hang out with Deirdre all the time. It was a rough childhood. What does Tegan think about this? She's worried about May, obviously. Tegan isn't like May. She's... upstanding. She works at the Salem Museum and doesn't know a thing about criminal cases, which is why she contacted me. Yeah, Deirdre, you definitely seem like the suspicious criminal type. One more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called the Hathorn House, and it's old. Like, really old. And now it's been set on fire. Nothing else significant about it? Well, yeah. A lot of things, but one that's... Ugh, that's kinda why you're here. Which is why? The Hathorn House is haunted. What? You think I'm some sort of ghost hunting expert now? I'm not a member of the Ghostbusters squad. What do you mean, haunted? Exactly that. 
There's ghosts. Deirdre. I don't believe it either, Drew. But I can't explain it. Everyone seems to think they exist. With so many sightings, even if it isn't real ghosts, something is definitely going on. I thought that maybe you can disprove them. So would you please get out of my car and come inside? I don't know. I kind of like it here in your car. It's very nice and warm. And it's cold outside. Ugh. If we're going to work side by side, you'd better learn to keep up with me. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so this you is know, Tegan. You live in the same neighborhood for 20 years, and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Tegan Perry, welcome to my home. Well, our home, although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so... While their daughter is being convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be home soon. Hopefully. A very expensive courier is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch, I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got... a difficult reputation. Well... You know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily, not since... I'm sorry, are you hungry? There's clam chowder, homemade. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here, right? <laughs> Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Olivia Ravencroft is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time ago. Look, I I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Running late to an appointment. Thanks, Tegan. I appreciate you letting us stay. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would really help. Of course. I have time for one question, if it'll help. So, I honestly want to ask about the clam chowder, because she doesn't give me any clam chowder, and now I feel really sad because I'm hungry for clam chowder. And by the way, you can just spin around and, and turn around during scenes while you're talking to people. They're probably thinking I'm weird because I'm nodding my head up and down and left and right all the time. But hey, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> So, uh, Tegan, so uh, what do you know about the uh, Hathorn house? What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What have you heard about it? Look, I appreciate you want help, but I don't want you dragging all that up and upsetting May. You told me she would be able to reach her. That's not the... That's not what Nancy is asking about. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I just thought since the Hathorn house is important to the town, you must know about it through the museum. Oh, I'm so sorry, the Hathorn house fire. Yes, John Hathorn was one of Salem's founders. His large house estate was the oldest surviving structure from 17th century Salem. Oh, is that all? Uh-uh-uh, that was two questions, I said one. <laughs> but yes, he was also the big time judge that presided over the Salem witch trials. Is there some other fire I need to know about? No. May's accident was in a fire. I just don't want her getting upset with unnecessary questions about things long over. I understand. You can read all about Judge Hathorne when you come to the museum later. Gotta run. Okay, so it sounds like May hey, was... Oops. Tegan said you've been in town for days, but you haven't come by. I know, I know, I know. I had to check in with your case at the, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been accused of worse. No, you haven't. Hey, at least I got you to get off your butt and finally visit me. Um... Oh, this is the girl I was telling you about. 
Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. She really doesn't want to talk. This could be difficult. Any advice? Hmm. Do better? I'll be in the kitchen. Thanks for the advice, Deirdre. As helpful as always. Okay, so May apparently had some sort of accident in a fire when she was younger. Hmm, that's not good. So upstairs is the bedroom. This is where Nancy is staying. The neighborhood looks peaceful from up here. She'll fall asleep in the bed. Ooh, purple. Nice. Nice bed. A good night's rest improves memory retention. But it's too early for bed. All right, there's uh, Nancy's luggage. Let's see. I believe we have a photo here. Right here on the dresser. Huh. Tegan's photo. So it's a photo of Tegan... And uh, two people we'll meet later on, uh, Lauren Holt and Olivia Ravencroft. What does this mean? Tegan has longer hair. Um, yeah, she had longer hair when she was a kid. It looks really good on her. I actually like her with uh, uh, longer hair. Whereas uh, Lauren, we'll meet her later. Her, her hair is a lot longer now. So this is May's room. I probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Aw, oh, come on, Nancy. You love breaking into other people's rooms and invading their privacy. I probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Ah, okay, well, we can't break into May's room. So let's go downstairs. And uh, let's talk with May. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi, I came here to prove that you're not an arsonist. Will you help me solve the case? Do you mind if I look around the house? Ugh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? Well, she is friendly. Not really. Uh, let's check out over here. We've got two things we can get. We have this. Rust be gone. Now that's handy. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. Rust be gone. And here in the trash, we have some papers. The Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up. This is a ripped letter, and we can look at it for a puzzle. So what you want to do is move all the pieces around in order to form a message. So it's easiest to get these uh, uh, pieces together first, the, the ones with writing on them. Let's see, where does this go? Here, perhaps? It's a little hard to see because the pieces are overlapping. There we go, there we go. That must go there. And then... This piece looks like it's a, a decorative border with flowers. No idea where that would go. Um, hmm. That looks nice. This looks like it's a corner piece somewhere. Hmm. Okay, this piece has a line on it, so maybe it's there. Yes, yes. So you right-click to rotate the pieces. Ah, here we go. That's got to be it. Yeah, there we go. Which means that long skinny piece is there on top. Beautiful. And then that piece goes down there. Yep, I think we're almost done. We're done. Yes, it is a note. But why tear it up like this? And who wrote it? I know. That seems threatening. Who would write a, a note like that? Hey, May, do you know anything about this? Hi. So, I found this letter. What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. So? So, I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. But, but, but... I'm done talking, okay? Oh. I guess she's not that friendly after all. And hey, here are pictures of the family members, I suppose. 
Yeah, those look like none of the members of the Perry and Shannon family. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks nothing like Deirdre Shannon or May Artigan. Oh, well. And here's the, the rest of their house. Woo, fancy, fancy, fancy. Yeah, pretty cool.